this video I want to show you how to make Christmas ornaments. These are the chosen materials we will need for the project. Polymer clay in different colors, a background color rolled to a thick setting, a foreground color green, thin setting, red clay, green clay for the scarf, thin setting, white clay for the snowman, a sanding paper for texture and black clay for the eyes, Merry Christmas stamp for decoration, a wavy blade and a regular blade, camper cutter, small one, circle, another blade if you need it, acrylic paint for decoration, tree cookie cutter and round cookie cutter to make the snowman in different sizes, and triangle cookie cutter to make a tree like this and here is the snowman I'm also using some powders which are makeup powders for some texturing and nice effects so we'll start with the project I'm layering the two layers of clay the green and the background the green is rolled to a thin setting and the background to the thickest setting. I'm cutting with the cookie cutter, the tree. Cutting all the way and then taking out the leftovers and separating the two colors so I can use them again if I want. Now I can add some texture using the sanding paper. Just texture the clay and you have a nice texture for the tree. The sanding paper is a coarse sanding paper so it makes a very nice texture. For the snowman I'm taking my white polymer clay which is rolled to a thin setting and I'm taking one of my round cutters cutting the snowman body and a smaller round cutter to make the snowman's head and I'm placing them both on the tree one next to the other I'm taking some of my texture sheets or you can use your sanding paper and I'm pressing a little bit to make a nice texture for the snowman. I'm using some of my old makeup powders they can be used to enhance the nice texture and the stamping. Just taking a little bit of powder not too much, not to make stains and brushing with my finger, finger lightly the snowman. Then I'm taking the red clay and cutting a circle using the blade and making a nice top or shirt to the snowman. You can make another stamping texture on the shirt as well. And again, I'm using one of my powders to make a nice shine and metallic look. Now I'm moving on to make some accessories to the snowman. I'm rolling some gold clay to a thin setting and taking my round camper cutter to cut small buttons placing them on the snowman and adding a light texture with the sanding paper eyes I'm, I'm doing again with the small cutter cutting in half 
and placing both eyes on the snowman. Last thing is the nose. I'm cutting a triangle using the red clay and placing the nose on the snowman. I made in advance small candy canes using white and red clay, just making thin snakes and rolling them together until they form a nice candy cane. Now I'm moving to the scarf, taking a little bit of the green clay, which I used as a background, you can use any color you like, and cutting it with the wavy blade. And making it look like a real realistic scarf. Place it on the neckline of the snowman, and I added some texture with the sanding paper. It also attaches the scarf well to the snowman. Now to the hole to string the thread for hanging. And some dots for decorations just around the border of the tree. Now for the stamp, I'm using a flexible stamp and it says Merry Christmas and I'm pressing it deep into the clay to make sure all the letters are embedded in the clay and then taking it from the craft table and it's almost ready for curing. I'm securing the candy cane into the tree by pressing it a little bit and I'm adding some rainstones it's nice sparkle to the tree decoration just place them wherever you like I'm using small rainstones and embedding them into the clay, just pressing them lightly until they are embedded in the clay. You can add seed beads or any other decorations. Just make sure they are oven proof and that they won't melt inside the oven. And this is the other side. Now last thing before we move to the curing I'm taking some acrylic paint, white, and I'm using my stylus and dipping in the paint and adding some dots. They also look like snowflakes or just dots for decoration. And when they are cured, they are fixed inside the clay. A few more. And we are ready for curing. Here is some other samples for you to see. There's a tree with the triangles in red and in green. After the tree is cured, I'm taking the acrylic paint again and I'm filling the embedded letters I used with the stamp. I'm just filling them with color so that the two words Merry Christmas will be visible and seen using white metallic paint. And finishing. 
I hope you enjoy this project. You can make many more ornaments with all kinds of colors for your Christmas tree. You can check more of my freebies in polypediaonline.com. Merry Christmas! Thank you.